guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday of Christmas week, so there's a lot of things happening. It's really busy, but it's really great. It's just really busy, but I'm gonna try to pick up the camera today. I wanted to start this vlog yesterday and never did pick up the camera. So here we are. I'm gonna try to show you a little bit more nail art today. <clears throat> try not to lose my voice. <laughs> it's just all the dust, of course. I lose my voice a little bit. Um, so right now I'm just like drinking my tea, it's back there somewhere, and uh, the Nail Throne restocked this morning, so today is Friday, and the Nail Throne did restock. You can use the Liquid Chrome coupon code for 10% off, and she does do free shipping after um, a certain amount. I will leave the link to everything down below as well as the discount code if you didn't pick it up here. And you can go see it. I, this video probably won't go live until Monday, but she has a ton of stock. So even if you've never bought glitter balls before, I think you should go look. The colors of the gel polishes are really super pigmented and really nice. She's got brushes, acrylic brushes, gel brush kits. Oh my goodness, like it's amazing. She's got acrylic kits, like acrylic starter kits. If you wanted to try like the full line, you really just should go check it out. So I'm going to drink my tea and start my day and I'll check back in with you guys later. So today I'm finishing up the vlog. I'm heading into work. It's Boxing Day. 
Um, the vlog got out of hand. I didn't do near as much filming as I thought I would just because of the time of year. So at home, home, the water softener is running and it scares Molly. So we have to bring her to the salon with us. Trouble is she doesn't like to be anywhere but home. So anyway, we're going to see how this works out. I'm going to try um, I'm going to show you a couple of haul things. I'm going to try a couple of nail things. I'll see you when we get there. Okay, so a little bit of nail art here that I had purchased through, I believe, eBay. Of course, I ordered them ages ago. So these are a rosy color, and I kind of really ordered them for the roses, but I thought maybe the other little pieces would come in handy doing like a theme nail. So, I got that rose color, which is like a pink. I got this red, because that was really pretty. I kind of have like in my mind what I want to do with them. So these ones are a little bit different. They're like stars, moons, pearls. So they're just kind of night sky sort of stuff. I couldn't get a real good picture of them. Um, they weren't focusing very well. All the shimmer, all the shine. Um, but yeah, there are lots of like moons and stars and things. So I thought they'd be really cool at some point, I'm sure. And these ones are more of a coppery gold. I wouldn't say rose gold, but they're more of like a coppery color. And then the the little ovals in there were quite rosy. So that's a picture of the nails that we're going to do today. So I'm using the extra long clear stiletto tips from Glitter Bells, and I'm gonna show you a bit of a comparison here with the clear stiletto, the regular clear stiletto tips. I prefer the extra long ones, a reason being I like the C curve in them better. Um, it's just kind of like a different angle and I do prefer it. Mind you, I don't full-time use tips, so it's really hard for me to judge. But just by what I've seen, I do prefer the extra long. I'm gonna try to hold them up and do a bit of a comparison here for you. It's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to do, but it kind of gives you an idea. They're more narrow. The regular clear stiletto are a bit more narrow, like clear through the body. But I still have them and I still use them. They're fine. I just do prefer the other ones. So this is Saturn Masquerade. I'm using glass slippers, my number 10 Glitter Bells brush. This is a comparison between the number 10 and the number 12. And then you have my trusty brush holder. I wanted to show that this time because I don't show you much really behind the scenes when I'm filming like that. So I'll leave a link for it in the Amazon affiliate links down below as well. So I am just kind of doing this funny little thing here where I had it pictured in my head. Same old story, right? Like I feel like I'm always saying that. I had it pictured in my head what I wanted to do. And so I just kind of wanted it to be night sky, northern lights, New Year's. Yeah, it was in my head. Anyhow, it turned out exactly how I wanted it to is the moral of the story. So I'm just kind of putting this on randomly. Like I didn't want them all to be the same. I wanted everything to be a little bit different, but I did want that darkness in, in the nail. And I really wanted to use Saturn. I knew that I wanted to use Saturn. I'm just adding a little bit to the tip here. I didn't want this to be just one, one little bit of the dark, so I wanted to do kind of two small areas. But I really wanted the star of the show to be Saturn. And when I first started out this nail, these nails, in my mind, I wanted gems on them. I wanted crystals on them because I've got so many crystals and I love using them. And I didn't end up doing that. I really didn't, I was totally satisfied with how they shimmered with Saturn. 
I didn't put a clear glass slippers layer down, which I would if I was doing this on a client, and I suggest that you do as well if you're doing it on a client. But this client is my red iguana hand, and I am on a limited supply right now of my glass slippers until my order gets here. So I didn't want to use any more than what I had to. But I'm not, you know, in this case, I'm not filing down to the natural nail or I'm not doing any of that stuff because again, this is my red one hand. So I just didn't figure it was necessary. And I am using, in case you're wondering, I'm using these tips at their full length. I did not cut them down. I customized a couple of them as far as width went, but I did not cut them down. The Saturn I found made a really good, quick, easy way to do kind of what you might consider nail art on these nails without going way out of your comfort zone. Um, I really enjoy doing nail art and doing acrylic 3D but I know some people don't or they can't or they're trying to learn how to. So if you had a client that wanted kind of an extra look like this, uh, but you weren't able or didn't have time to go way extra for them, I think this is a really good way to get it. Um, I also think this would look super cool with like blue or pink, any color really. Like I see no reason why this wouldn't be super, super, super with any other color. Um, and it came to mind that white would be really cool with this too, rather than the dark. Uh, I may try that in the future. I may actually try that on myself because I feel like I would really love to wear that. So like a nice, a nice crisp white would be really super neat. So one thing I did have to kind of get my mind wrapped around when I first picked up my Saturn was that it needs to be picked up a lot wetter than what you might be used to or what I'm used to for sure. Uh, so it took me kind of a bit to get situated in that sense. See, I just dropped that right there. And actually in editing, in my, my first run through of editing, that's why I left that there because I wanted to remind myself to tell you to make sure that you're working wet enough. And at this point I was still like, oh, like, am I sure about this? Is this gonna work? Like I was starting to have a couple of doubts as I usually do when I don't totally plan my nail art. I prefer doing it. And I do want to say too, I'm using my camera on different settings here and it's really, really light and I'm really hoping um, that that turns out to be a good thing. I've since changed them a little bit again, but in case you feel like it looks a bit washed out, um, you're totally right, it is. So in the second nail, I, I was, like I said before, I was starting to have doubts, like, ah, oh, is this gonna work out? But when I get to the middle finger, like after I've done those two nails and I get to the middle finger, I'm like, oh yeah, I love this. <laughs> so all doubts are gone. I, I've now figured that I'm going to super love this. So that's good. Cause there's nothing any worse than filming a set of nails and then hating them when you're done. So comment down below if you have any ideas of nails that you want me to do like tutorial wise this way um, in the future. Uh, I always like to hear from you guys and sometimes I really suck at coming up with ideas. Like I'm really not good at coming up with my ideas on my own. I really, really, really love to recreate stuff. I find that challenging and I really enjoy it. Um, I would never want anybody to think I was recreating their art. Um, for any malice reason like I really do I really do love recreating other people's art and I really am terrible of kind of dreaming up things on my own so if there's anything or any characters that you'd like to see pop them down below because I I really enjoy talking to you guys and I really like when you give me your suggestions because generally it's something that I haven't thought of you can even DM me on um, Instagram under Liquid Chrome Nails and send me pictures if you wanted to. And I can recreate them or maybe do something like that. So I cap these with clear, although I don't really show a whole lot of that because it's, you know, it's capping in clear. And I also didn't show any of my filings, so this is kind of where it ends. I do give you some pictures 
um, of what they looked like in the end. And you can pop over to my Instagram again, Liquid Chrome Nails, if you wanted to look at when I posted them on there. So at the end of this video, there's a little end screen and there's going to be, it's going to suggest a couple of videos for you. So one of them, the one on the left I've handpicked and the one on the right YouTube has picked for you. So feel free to click on one of those and carry on watching my vlogs or my videos. If you would like, I would love that. Give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Never forget to subscribe because I'm going to, going forward, be posting, I'm gonna to try to be posting twice a week and sometimes it's on different days. So if you wanna be notified when I post, you can hit the bell. Thanks so much for watching. Again, all links are down below. Some of them are affiliate links, so some of them I would make a dollar or two on if you purchase something through the link. And I very much thank you for that because it supports my itty bitty little channel. And again, everything on here has been purchased through the nailthrone.ca, so go see her there. She's got some wicked cool stuff. There is a discount code down below in the description box, so don't forget to use it.